welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to At the End of the Day. I'm Stephen Rogers. And so this week, we witnessed on air live Rachel Maddow of MSNBC shedding tears, so many tears that you could fill a bucket. Tears over what? Tears over the Mueller report that concluded that there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. And here we have, entering after Rachel Maddow, Lawrence Donald. Lawrence Donald, out of control, unable to speak at times, trying to figure out, in his words, what went wrong. What went wrong with what? The Mueller report, which did what? Concluded that there was no Russian collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. And then we have the great one, the one that has been so demonstrative and so opposed to the President of the United States in the name of Chris Matthews from MSNBC. Chris Matthews the other night looked like a guy coming out of a bar, walking into a telephone pole and knocking himself silly. Why, he asked, why did this happen? Did Robert Mueller miss something? Did the investigators miss something? With all the witnesses and all this information and all this intelligence, why did the report come out the way it did? And the way it came out was no Russian collusion. Well, Chris, I could tell you why it came out that way, because we said all along, we said all along, Chris, that you don't base investigations and draw conclusions on innuendo, on false narratives, on false reports, on fake news that you were responsible for, as well as your colleagues on MSNBC and CNN. You base conclusions, you judge the worth, the credibility of an investigation based on evidence based on facts, not fake news. So here we have the multimedia networks from around the country and some from around the world. Here we have the mainstream media struggling to explain to the American people what they have seen and what they have concluded in the Mueller report. They have no answers. They just mumble and jumble now, trying to figure out how to navigate through a colossal mistake on their part. But it doesn't end there, folks, believe me, because as I speak to you, as I share this news with you, the mainstream media will now go down another road. And that road will be to find something wrong with the president's business organizations through the investigation of the prosecutors of the attorney general's office of the state of New York. So expect this to continue. And there will be more innuendo, more fake news, more fake narratives, more conclusions drawn on what? On innuendo, on uncooperated testimony, on opinion. And at the end of that day, the same results will be borne out, that there was no criminal acts taken by the Trump Organization or by the President of the United States while he was in office or out of office. So that's the mainstream media group. Now let's move over to the United States Congress. Let's talk about the congressmen and the congresswomen who night after night, day after day, pounded away that there must be something here. There must be a collusion between the president of the United States campaign and Russia. There must be this special strange relationship between Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump. We're going to find it. We're going to dig and we're going to find it, and Robert Mueller's going to find it. Why? Because Robert Mueller could be trusted. Why? Because Robert Mueller's investigation is not going to be tainted. And in that point, on that point, they were right. The Mueller investigation was never influenced by anyone on the outside. They, he was not. His investigation was not uh, attempted to be influenced by the White House or by the Congress or by the Senate or by anyone else. Robert Mueller ran an investigation that holds the water it can hold, and that's a lot of water. It's credible. It's correct. It is right, and the outcome is right. So the Congress of the United States now has a problem. The problem is they have validated way before the conclusion that Robert Mueller made, they validated his investigation. They had admitted way before it was concluded that no matter how it turns out, we're going to believe Robert Mueller. Whatever he says happened, happened, and it will be laid to rest. Now they have a problem. 
So now the problem they're facing is Robert Mueller comes out with a conclusion. There was no Russia in, 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 in collusion. And so what do they do? Now they're talking about impeachment. We're going to subpoena Robert Mueller. We're going to subpoena his witnesses. We want the documents. We want all of the testimony. We want the thousands of pages that the investigators went through. We want to look at that because there's got to be something there. There's got to be something they missed. And so they will go down a road of not criminality, but they will go down a road of impeachment, a road that will destroy the Democrat Socialist Party. So go to it, folks. Go to it. It was always about bringing down this president, never about justice. It was always about destroying the Trump administration and in the same scheme of things, destroying this nation. They failed. And let me say this also to the rhinos. Yeah, rhinos, Republicans in name only. Those of you who have distanced yourself from the president during the most difficult time of his life, you distance yourself from his supporters during a most, most difficult time of their lives. Those of us who stood with the president and continue to stay with the president, we wear the battle scars of the name calling, of the judgments, of the persecutions, and in some cases, the prosecutions. We wear the battle scars of fighting for a president whom we believe in, who has delivered to the American people, who has not lied, who has not created fake news, who has been very transparent. We wear those battle stars and we wear those battle scars and we will continue to stay with him and walk with him through thick and through thin and support him, unlike you. So when you call me, as some elected officials called me within the past few days and said, maybe we could sit down and talk. Now maybe there's room for us to uh, publicly support the president. My answer to them is this, the Trump train left the station. So at the end of this day, we are going to celebrate not just a victory for the president of the United States, but a victory for the American people, a victory for a country and a people that will stand by and believe that the president of the United States is working on behalf of the people, not on behalf of, of a political party, not on behalf of an election, but on behalf of the American people. Because at the end of the day, it was truth. Not what the pundit said, not what the politician said, but is what the truth said. And the truth said this, that Donald J. Trump had nothing to do with the Russians with regard to the word collusion. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.